This story is developing. You know, some companies are considering whether to charge unvaccinated workers more for their health insurance. Recently, Delta Airlines announced unvaccinated workers on the company's health plan will see a $200 increase in their monthly premiums that does start in November. The airline taking the lead in charging more for health coverage for the unvaccinated. But many people want to know, are they within their legal rights to do so? So joining us now to talk more about this is David Sprinkle. He is managing partner at Veritas Recruiting Group. David, hello, how are you? It's good to see you this morning. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me on. What an interesting topic this is, right? While some companies are offering incentives to get vaccinated, Delta, in essence, is kind of penalizing employees for not getting vaccinated. Is this legal for companies to increase health insurance for the unvaccinated? It all depends on how they do it. And I would assume that Delta is is doing it in a fashion that is tied to their employee wellness program. So what's happening is they're just raising rates for everybody, but then they're giving the vaccinated a $200 discount on their monthly premiums. And so, so in essence, they're raising the rates for the unvaccinated, but the way they do it to get around the legal loopholes, ah. which is, it's, it's, um, the legal loopholes are by the ACA and by HIPAA. Uh, you're not allowed to, uh, employers and insurance companies aren't allowed to raise premiums specifically on people for, let's say, obesity uh, or things like that. They can do it for smoking. That got written into the law. So if you're a smoker, they can, they can say, no, you're a smoker, so we're gonna raise your premiums specifically. So it wouldn't surprise me if down the line there's some, there's some laws that get passed with this, but right now, they cannot, they have to do it through the employee wellness program. And so what you're saying, because that's interesting, that loophole you mentioned, if an employee refuses, there's really not a whole lot they can do to challenge it, right? No, no, because what they're doing is they're giving the discount, the employee, well, it's like uh, if your employer has, they want you to wear a Fitbit. And, and if you wear a Fitbit and then you walk a certain amount of steps in a day over the course of the month, then they give you a couple bucks off your insurance premiums. It's the same thing, except they're pretty, Delta is doing a $200 discount, which is huge uh, when you think about what comes out of their paycheck. Uh, so people that aren't vaccinated or aren't willing to provide proof that they're vaccinated, they won't get that discount. And, and, their, and what comes out of their paycheck is going to be a lot more for their health insurance. And so Delta said in a statement, 75% of its workers are indeed vaccinated. So that 25% who are not, let's say that 25% end up getting sick. Is it legal for an insurance company to say they won't cover the COVID medical bills for people who are unvaccinated once they have to go into the hospital, for example? Yeah, so that's the big thing right now is prior to, uh, before the vaccines really kicked in, the health insurance companies were providing a waiver that said, if you get sick with COVID and, you're, and you get admitted to the hospital, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna charge you what we normally would charge you, uh, like your, your deductibles and things like that. Well, now those waivers are going away. And, and it, so it's totally legal for the, uh, for the insurance companies to say, look, you gotta cover your part now. You're like, you've got a deductible, you've got a maximum out-of-pocket expense, just like if you got sick from any other way. And so we're just, we're not giving that waiver anymore. Um, and so that's gonna get expensive uh, for people that do get, uh, that do get COVID and have to be hospitalized. Look, the insurance companies are here to make money and they've got actuarial tables that they look at. And now that there's more data, you're gonna see the insurance companies saying, look, we're spending billions of dollars on hospitalization when we shouldn't, when we really don't have to. If people get vaccinated, then they're less likely. So we're gonna charge, so we're gonna figure out how to make this work. They can't charge the unvaccinated, that's not legal, but they're going to start raising rates for everybody. And, and then the employers have that op opportunity to discount those that are vaccinated. Hence that loophole you talked about at the top. Very yeah. interesting times you're in right now. David Sprinkle, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely.